Hello, hello, hi, how are you? My name is David Kvoga. I'm the operations manager at Pende Dog Conservation. Welcome to PDC, all the way from Africa in Zimbabwe. Today I'll have the privilege of taking you through a life at PDC. We'll go to the anti-poaching unit, visit the visitor center, and go and visit the iconic children's bush camp. We'll cap it off with the research and rehabilitation facility. But for now, I want you to take, to go with me to the anti-poaching unit where I was this morning. Hi guys, I'll be joining Inok Zulu. I've arrived at the anti-poaching base and we'll go and see what they do every day, making sure that we remove all these nests so that we continue protecting the panda dogs. Come with me. Hi, Ilo. Hi, Dev. I've brought our supporters to the anti-poaching base. You are the man. Please meet our supporters. Hi, Dev. How are you? Salibigelela, salimugela. Fantastic. Am I good to go? Yeah, but you're putting on office gear. I'll okay. give you this. Ah, thanks, man. Let me, okay. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. So, Inuk, tell us about the APU work, what you do on a day-to-day basis and what you have achieved since 2001. Thank you. Uh, generally, what we do is to enforce the Wildlife Act, the wildlife law. We do patrols in the bush, uh, searching for snares and searching for poachers. Uh, I've got a staff complement of 17. Uh, the regular and uh, painted dog conservation and poaching unit. The regulars, there are 17 of them. So uh, they do that on a daily basis, the patrols. In addition to that, we've got community volunteers led by Tlomani from the Mabali village. We've got an, over 150 of them. They do patrols on a voluntary basis, patrolling their respective areas. So they do recover some snakes and they do make some arrests as well. So far, uh, we've managed to collect over 50,000 snakes since inception, which I think is quite in, 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 a, a good number, yes. yes. So this morning we'll be deploying. I won't tell you where we're going. Are you ready to go? I'm good to go. Fred, Fred, cha! As per officer on parade, dismiss. So, as we go out on deployment, I like the idea of communities being involved in conservation. Uh, this is one way PDC making sure that we reduce the number of, of snares covered and the levels of poaching. And the PU team, with Enoch having worked for PDC for over 10 years, they're really doing a great job. And right now, join us as we go on patrol. If you are in the middle of the volunteers, we have a lot of volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers. It was a great day, a great morning out with the anti poaching unit. We got some snares. We also even got small snares for birds, and the poachers don't leave anything. Uh, Great help from Natasha and Jesse, two of our K9 German Shepherd uh, teams, Survivor and Xavier have been taking good care of them. Thank you for the support. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. In the meantime, we go see the rest of the uh, programs that Pende Dog Conservation does to create a conducive environment where Pende Dogs can thrive. So let's go now to the visitor center. Morning. Morning, morning. Good. So the visitor center was opened in 2007 and we have received over 70,000 visitors since then. 
Let's just go in now and meet Prim and Maria. Hi, 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 Maria. Hi, Mr. K. Fantastic. Hi, hi Prim. Hi, hi, Mr. K. Ah, good. I just brought supporters to you. I've told them about the visitor center and said, you meet Prim and Maria, they're the best at this to take you through the Interpretive Four. But Maria, tell us, what do you do in the Interpretive Four? Thank you, Mr. K. Uh, this is our painted dog conservation Interpretive Four, where you are going to learn about Wanke National Park's painted dogs through the story of one painted dog's life, which is a true story, the story of iSpot. iSpot's story is illustrated through seven large oil paintings. Painted dogs are facing extinction through human activities, such as poachers, people who set snares to kill animals. I was with the anti-poaching unit uh, this morning, and it's just terrible how the snares are being put out there. But thanks to them, we are removing a lot of them. But in this, um, we have received over 70,000 uh, people coming through the interpretive war. What has been your best moment? It has been amazing receiving visitors from all over the globe. Brilliant. Thanks. Again, this is PDC involving everybody. Our education and our now awareness branch extends to the children's bush camp, where we are bringing in kids from over 21 local primary schools so that we can teach them about environmental conservation concepts, so that when they grow up, indeed, the future is secured. We'll go now and meet Wilton, will tell us more about the children's bush camp. Come with me. Hi, Wilton. Hi, David. Good to see you again. Then. Thank you. How are Brilliant. you? Oh, fine. Good. Um, supporters, I'm now at the Ikanyana children's bush camp, and here we meet Wilton. Wilton, meet the supporters. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ikanyana children's bush camp. Come inside. Let's see. Let's go with Wilton. I can hear already the buzz with the kids. Yeah, playing. yeah, great I've excitement been inside. Doing this since 2004, what inspires you? What keeps you going? Yeah, it's been really a very great experience for me. As a teacher by profession, I've seen children grow into conservationists of the future. Brilliant, man. Let's know more about the programs that you do, the impact it has had on conservation, on the kids themselves. Um, I'm sure our supporters are eager to learn more from you. Definitely. Let's go. Here we are at the Children's Push Camp and behind me here is uh, Mambanja Primary School. The program is mainly for grade 6 students from the local community. And these are usually 11, 12 year olds. The purpose of the Push Camp is mainly to inculcate positive behavior and attitude change in the children. These are the future leaders of tomorrow and we want to make sure when they leave the push camp they are at least focused towards conservation. Brilliant. I mean the, the future is, is kids. Um, and 2020, 2021, I mean this shining star was almost uh, extinguished mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. How did the camp overcome the challenges? Yeah, and which challenges did you face during that pandemic? Thank you very much, David. We really had uh, a, a challenge as well as uh, some lessons to learn from the pandemic. In 2020, we actually missed some of the schools. Some of the children out there in the communities, they still feel that they were supposed to come, but the pandemic disturbed us quite a lot. But on the other hand, 2021, we had a lot of pressure to finish all the camps. And we managed to do that during the short period that we had with the lockdown still on. But thank you very much for your support. Brilliant. And uh, when the kids are here, what are their favorite activities? Well, besides just the, the games they play here, their favorite activity is the game drive. When the children go out into the park to actually see animals in their natural setting, they love it so much. But on top of that, they also are very eager to see painted dogs for the first time and that is what they do when they go to the rear. Thank you, Wilton. We really need to continue catching them young. Definitely. As we continue a day in the life at PDC, you can see that catching them young and bringing kids to this camp is really an important part of our way of creating a conducive environment where painted dogs can thrive. 
we have been to the anti-poaching unit, we have seen the visitor center with Primo and Maria, and right now we we'll head to the rehab facility where we will learn more about painted dogs. Yay! Hi, Doc. Hi, Dave. Good Hi. afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Yes. So here we are. Uh, we have arrived at the rehab facility. I've got Dr. Hilary Mazikanda. He's going to tell us more of what they do here at the rehab and also their work with our research team. Doc. Yes, uh, thanks Dave, and once again, uh, welcome to the rehab, uh, part of research. This is where we have got the two resident uh, painted dogs that are shown to any would-be visitors, including um, school kids that normally come to PBC. At the same time, um, the rehab um, houses... Um, the research part of uh, PDC where on a daily basis we undertake research and monitoring where a team drives into the bush looking for dogs and undertake all required uh, research protocols. At the same time, there is also a lab that uh, analyzes painted dog feces uh, for prey preference as well as the parasitic load and at the same time we also house five undergraduate interns from higher institutions from all over the country. Thank you doc. Indeed the rehab and the research work we do is quite integral to the work that Pended Dog Conservation does to create a conducive environment where Pended Dogs can thrive. The rehab has housed over 85 painted dogs since 2001. One of the dogs that we housed here was Fusile. And we can track 137 dogs to that one intervention. Meaning that even just one dog counts and one intervention counts. Soon we'll hear from Peter Blinston, the executive director, how our holistic approach is quite the way to go. We have looked since morning the work that we do with anti-poaching units. We have gone to our iconic children's bush camp. We have visited our visitor center. And we have kept it with the rehab facility and our research work. All this wouldn't happen without your support. In the meantime, Doc, it's been great. Thanks, Dave. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Peter Blinston. I'm the Executive Director of Painted Dog Conservation. Today, you've just had a glimpse into a, a day in the life at PDC. And so many of you have been our friends and supporters for so many years. It's difficult for us really to express how much we appreciate that. We will certainly never get tired of saying thank you. To us, every single dog matters. You've heard David talk about Vusili, who's actually buried here behind me, and the impact that that one intervention had, saving one dog's life, resulted in more than 137 other individuals populating Wangi National Park and the surrounds. Every dog is important. Everything we do at the end of the day is to create an environment where painted dogs can thrive. And you are very much part of our team. Without your support, we can't do anything. To run an organization like this costs tens of thousands of dollars a month, let alone a year. We're in desperate need of support for new vehicles for the tracking team, new vehicles for the anti-poaching unit. These are, these are 30, 40, 50 thousand dollar items that we need quite urgently. And as I say, just to run PDC requires in the region of fifty thousand dollars a month but the work we're doing is life-changing it's life-saving and your part of that and your support as i say is greatly appreciated and we'll never get tired of saying thank you thank you <laughs>